The humanoid robot Digit from Agility Robotics has learned to understand people in natural language thanks to ChatGPT. Elon Musk's company Neuralink has finally implanted its chip into the first volunteer. The Chinese company Unitree has begun mass sales of its humanoid robots H1. Robotics engineers from Stanford have introduced the latest robotic system Mobile Aloha, which surpasses humans in culinary skills. Additionally, scientists from Duke University have mastered the art of 3D printing human organs directly inside the human body. These and other high-tech news are featured in one video. Robotics researchers from Stanford University have introduced Mobile Aloha, an affordable open-source hardware system for the autonomous operation of mobile bi-manual robots. Training the system to perform tasks successfully requires only about 50 demonstrations, achieving an 80% success rate. After this, human operators are no longer needed. Similar robotic systems performing complex manipulation tasks were previously limited to stationary activities, lacking the mobility and agility required for practical everyday tasks. Mobile Aloha is designed so that its manipulators can easily coordinate with primary actions. This approach enabled it to autonomously perform tasks such as frying and serving shrimp, opening a two-door wall cabinet for kitchen utensil storage, calling and entering an elevator, and rinsing a dirty frying pan from the kitchen faucet. The robot's training involved a combination of direct control and observation. For instance, to teach it to cook shrimp, it was remotely controlled 20 times with slight variations. This approach allowed the robot to understand different methods of solving the same task. The machine also received data from previous training sessions involving other robots with different routine tasks one might encounter in a kitchen. This collaborative learning helped the robot acquire the necessary skills to work effectively in a restaurant. Interestingly, the entire setup, including a webcam and a consumer-level laptop with a graphics processor, costs about $32,000, significantly cheaper than ready-made bi-manual robots that can cost $200,000. The humanoid robot Digit from Agility Robotics has learned to understand commands in natural language. The company has previously conducted experiments with ChatGPT, and now engineers have once again announced the use of an unspecified large language model to see the physical embodiment of artificial intelligence. For the experiment, the robot was placed in an environment with towers made of various boxes. The robot knew the differences between the boxes but had no idea what to do with them. Then engineers started giving commands like, take the box of the color of Darth Vader's lightsaber and place it on the highest pedestal and observe the robot's response. The robot would think and strategize its actions, while the neural network in the chat would provide commentary. This is roughly what the future may look like. Elon Musk's company Neuralink has implanted its chip into the first volunteer. The patient is currently recovering after the implantation, and according to the entrepreneur, everything is going well. Initial results show promising detection of neuron impulses, Musk wrote on his ex-social media platform. This also indicates that the company's robot for implantation performed excellently. Once the recovery period is over, we will finally be able to find out if the chip indeed allows control of electronic devices through the power of thought, how challenging it is to master its usage, and how effective it is compared to alternatives. We await reports from Elon and hope that the first Neuralink volunteer will not be disappointed. It is worth noting that, contrary to established practice, regulatory authorities allowed Musk to implant the device in several volunteers simultaneously, which raises some concerns. Considering Elon's impatience and his tendency to iterate on the fly and immediately test things in practice, we hope that in this case, he will exercise the utmost caution. Disney has decided to showcase the Holotile smart floor, which as they stated, will solve a significant issue with VR headsets. According to the demonstration video, each cell of the smart mat can rotate independently of the others, allowing people to move in different directions while staying in place. The company did not provide details on how the technology works, but demonstrated that the unique flooring allows for remote control of objects placed on it. Disney engineer Lanny Smoot mentioned that he is not sure where the technology will be applied, but he believes it is best suited for VR projects, dance, and theatrical performances. The video illustrates the first application, where friends can interact with the mat, recognizing two people and enabling them to move in different directions. The Holotile system is modular and expandable, meaning it can be customized to fit various spaces and scenarios. Chinese company Unitree is also making strides in the field of humanoid robots, and the visibly agile H1 robot, showcased in a video, is now available for order at a price below $90,000. The first delivery is scheduled for the end of February 2024. 
This electric humanoid, standing at 180 centimeters and weighing 47 kilograms, approximately 103 pounds, has a maximum speed of 5 meters per second. It features 4 degrees of freedom per arm and 5 per leg, with the ability to carry a payload of up to 8 kilograms in its hands. The H1 is positioned as a research project for further development, and its design is still being refined. Grippers and hand fingers, as well as legs with 6 degrees of freedom, are being designed for the H1. The robot is equipped with two built-in Intel Core i7 processors, a 3D lighter, and a depth camera for obstacle and object detection in the vicinity of its arms. Unitree provides a one-year warranty for the robot and assures that its maintenance will not be problematic, given its modular construction. The Chinese startup Limex Dynamics, which recently announced the development of a humanoid robot capable of walking independently on uneven terrain, has demonstrated its training in various other areas, such as boxing, drum playing, box carrying, and more. Fortunately, the engineers honestly stated that these activities are currently carried out in teleoperation mode. However, all these trials serve the purpose of collecting data and training control algorithms. We continue to monitor the progress of the Chinese in the field of humanoid robotics. Scientists from Duke University and Harvard Medical School have developed a new method called Deep Penetrating Acoustic Volumetric Printing. This technique enables the introduction of liquid biocompatible inks into the human body and subsequently printing necessary tissues and even implants right on the spot using ultrasound. It is a kind of 3D printing carried out directly within the body. After printing the desired object, the remaining ink can be removed using a syringe. Depending on the goals, both stable and biodegradable materials can be used for printing. The researchers have already tested the method on a goat, printing a section of its heart, and they have also successfully reconstructed a portion of a chicken bone using this technique. In a third application, the scientists printed hydrogels for the controlled delivery of chemotherapy drugs within liver tissues. In the United Kingdom, an autonomous asphalt repair bot is soon to be deployed on roads. RS Prevent, developed by the company Robotized, is equipped with artificial intelligence and cameras that enable it to scan road surfaces, detecting cracks, protrusions, and other defects. The bot then uses specialized tools to solve these issues. RS Prevent can operate 24-7 and does not require human involvement during the repair process. This can lead to a reduction in road maintenance costs by up to 90% and an acceleration of repairs by up to 70%. Additionally, such a method has the potential to significantly alleviate traffic congestion and enhance safety. The first trials of the robot will take place on one of the streets in Hertfordshire over the next few months. If the results are positive, similar robots may be deployed for use on other roads. The Sea Glider electric vessel on a dynamic air cushion is ready to revolutionize coastal transport. In the past, the concept of a ground-effect vehicle was deemed impractical due to various technological constraints, but progress in energy and materials now allows for a re-evaluation of this idea. Regent has managed to reduce hydrodynamic resistance with retractable underwater wings, while also increasing range through efficient use of the ground effect and wing design. The result is the Viceroy Sea Glider aircraft, designed for 12 passengers or 1,600 kilograms of cargo, 3,527 pounds, not including the two crew members, with a minimum range of 300 kilometers at a cruising speed of 300 kilometers per hour, 186 miles per hour, and a flight altitude of 9 to 18 meters above the water surface. It is approximately six times times faster and significantly more convenient than a traditional motorboat. Additionally, it can handle much higher waves than boats of similar size. Compared to airplanes, operating costs are reduced by approximately half, and the ground effect vehicle produces significantly less noise. Judging by pre-orders totaling $8 billion, the world has embraced this idea, and Regent plans to build a large assembly plant for electric ground effect vehicles. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.